Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie Mary and today I am going to give you the ultimate zero waste laundry guide. Alrighty, yo. I have talked about laundry quite a few times, but in context of general cleaning and spring cleaning and stuff like that. So if you want to see more cleaning videos, I actually have quite a few at this point. There's also a new one coming very soon. I don't know why I'm spending time saying that I already have cleaning content. I, it's important to me, but... <laughs> I thought it could be cool to make like a guide where I take all the information specifically just about laundry and I put it somewhere so you can always find it and I thought that could be kind of practical in daily life, I don't know. I have also made a blog post where I talk about all the things I talk about in here and I also mention some products that I am not myself using but that are also sustainable. So as you can perhaps gather, this is going to be the things that I do and I use. It can be different, there are different products available to different people and there are things that are sustainable to do that I don't have the need to do or that I don't do but then I do something else just to say this is just my personal take on it and this is the stuff that I do on the daily. Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing, my laundry routine when it comes to zero waste sort of starts even before I do my actual laundry. When I toss something into the laundry bin, I divide it into two sections. One section being natural materials, organic materials like cotton, and the other category is synthetics, because I do have some synthetics still, like some types of underwear, my workout leggings, stuff like that. And when we just wash them normally, they will release tons of microplastic. Actually, one average laundry load with synthetic fibers can release up to 700,000 microplastic particles. That's a lot of microplastic. And the thing is with microplastic, these particles are so small that they usually cannot be filtered. And thus, they will be flushed out into our water systems. And there they will affect both flora and fauna, marine life, and yeah also people. I actually have a couple of videos about hidden plastic and microplastic and where it sort of turns up and how it also impacts humans. So I will also leave those down below if you're interested in that. But to combat microplastic, or I don't know about combat, but to do a thing that is just a tiny, tiny bit step better than not doing anything, I use a guppy bag to wash my synthetics in. The guppy bag is this water filtration bag where you put your synthetics into it and then you sip it and then you wash it with your normal laundry and this bag will then catch some of the microplastic particle fibers. It's better than doing nothing, but of course this is not a solution that's 100% effective, but it's the solution that has been made available to me at this point. You can also get like actual big water particle filtration filters for your washing machine, but I have not found that option yet here. So just wanted to let you know that's also an option. After a couple of washes, you will be able to see the plastic particles in the bag. They will sort of accumulate like small dust bunnies and you can then toss them in the bin. It's much better to toss them in a bin. I usually wrap them in something else, like bury them beneath other things um, simply so they just won't fly everywhere and you know, we will be back to square one. So to make sure that they are actually <laughs> tossed, throw them into something else, wrap them into something else, I don't know, like a carton or something. There's tons of stuff to do there. But it's better to toss them with the bin rather than having them flushed out the drain. But of course, one of the best things you can do is also to primarily base your wardrobe on organic fibers to avoid this issue. The less synthetic fibers you have, the less microplastic your laundry will release. Then I want to talk about soap nuts. Soap nuts is a product that I have been using for quite some time. It was one of the first zero waste natural home remedies products that I tried out. I have also been working with a company doing their social media. So I have been given the perspective into the industry itself. So I have a couple of things that are great and I have a couple of things that you probably should be cautious of. First of all, what is a soap nut? Soap nuts are these natural nuts or berries and they contain a natural soap called sapoline. And whenever they're in contact with water, they will release this natural soap and you can then use those to wash your clothes. What you do is that you take between four, six soap nuts, you put them in a tiny tote bag and then you toss that in with your clothes in the washing machine and let it run its natural course. However, something that I think you should be cautious of is that there are tons of companies promoting, selling and producing soap nuts and there are not 
equally amazing. Many companies do not give a crap about human rights or the people who produce the soap nuts, while some other companies actually do try to build up the communities rather than just exploit them. One of the arguments I've seen quite a lot through the internet is that because soap nuts have been increasingly popular in the West, the people that used to depend on them in primarily India and Nepal now have no means to purchase them because they're too expensive. And although this does sound like something that would happen because the world is garbage. It's not something I've seen actual studies on and I cannot find any credible sources that confirm this, but it wouldn't surprise me if that was true. So if you have any other zero waste measure of laundry, that is also completely amazing. But the brand I use for soap nuts, you can find down below and they're doing such an amazing job. They exclusively work with people in Nepal who also use their soap berries and they have maternity leave. I think they're paid three times more than the average. But I haven't exclusively used soap berries for a very long time because I think it was about two years ago I started working with True Earth or I started working with, I did a collab with True Earth. So they sent me tons of these detergent strips and let me just tell you, I think that is the best zero waste swap. I don't know, but they're really, really good. Jens loves them as well and the other day he said that it was definitely his <laughs> favorite zero waste swap and the detergent sheets are so much lighter than using powder detergent so you use a lot less product per load it also means that you get tons and tons of use out of simply one carton the sheet itself is divided into two sections and then there's a little stripe down the middle so you can tear them off so you one sheet is two brushes basically. Then you take the little light sheet and you put it into the compartment in the washing machine where you would normally have put liquid or powdered detergent and then you wash as normal. You can get them both with and without perfume and I just think they're absolutely amazing. I really really do like them. I would however like to also mention in terms of caution that I have had both friends and followers message me that they bought the True Earth sheets directly from True Earth's webpage and they have had a lot of trouble actually getting them and they've been lost in mail and there's been some shipping issues in that regard so I would definitely recommend if you're in a hurry and you need them now find a secondary supplier like a small store that then sells them. That has been working for me as well and um, yeah just wanted to let you guys know that that is possibly a little bit more efficient. I've left some links down below in the blog post about this where you can find them both a Danish site and an international site. Okay now let's talk a little bit about fabric softness. I haven't ever used fabric softeners, to be honest, because I just break out instantly. I'm, I get a huge rash and I am very sensitive to perfumes and perfumed products like fabric softeners. So I've never ever used them. The thing with very chemically fragranced products, like for instance, fabric softeners that you put on your skin and that is in contact with your skin because the clothes is washed in it and then you wear it and then your skin absorbs all this stuff, is that it increases your risk of allergies, of different kinds of skin issues, of cancers. There's so many different things that is super, super wrong with fabric softener, so I wouldn't recommend anyone using them. If you do want your clothes or your garments or your textiles, I don't know why I needed synonyms there, uh, to be a little bit more soft, you can add just a little bit of vinegar to your laundry load that will have the completely same effect. Now I've also mentioned on this channel quite a few times that I don't actually do essential oils or I don't do I don't over consume essential oils let's put it that way because I do use them but I use them very sparsely I use them very little because aha they're kind of resource intensive to produce. A lot of material like a lot of material goes into making just a teeny tiny bit of essential oil so I try to use it very sparsely but the only place in my life where I use essential oils is actually with my laundry. I have these essential oils, they're from the same company that I got my soap nuts from and they smell divine and you simply just take two or three drops and you add it in with your laundry and it's absolutely gorgeous and divine. So if you do like some sort of fragrance or some scent, adding a couple of essential oils can be a really really good idea. But please use some that is actually recommended for clothing so you won't have it on your skin and it's toxic and it's bad. These are absolutely fine to use on clothing but there are some that are way 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 too harsh and I wouldn't recommend using those. Okay. 
Another swab that I definitely recommend is the Solid Stain Remover. I have been loving this both around the house but also especially when I travel. Now I don't travel a lot but once I start to travel again I'm definitely going to bring it. This is amazing especially if you're wearing white shoes and you get some sort of dirt on them but it works for basically anything and it is yeah a solid piece of soap that is just especially good at cleaning out stains so you don't have to throw your entire garment or your shoes or whatever into the wash and waste a lot of water and energy washing it when you could simply just have used a little stain remover and done that instead. I absolutely love this one to bits and I definitely recommend it. By the way, if you're traveling, you can also simply just shred some normal hand soap and then have that in your little container if you don't want to bring the entire piece of soap. Now, a sustainable and zero waste, low waste, low impact laundry routine is not only about what products you use, but it's also about techniques and methods. So here are some low impact, zero waste laundry habits that I definitely think we should remember as well. Instead of using the dryer, if you can, then air dry your clothes because that is so much more sustainable. The impact of your laundry load is doubled when we use a dryer because it is so energy intensive. And furthermore, using a dryer will also shorten the lifespan of your clothes because it wears them out and it makes them break faster. I mentioned this a little bit but I think it deserves its very own point but only wash clothes that are actually dirty. This seems like a very arbitrary thing to say but we end up tossing tons of clothes in the laundry bin because we don't want to put them back on the shelf and we can actually avoid washing a lot of clothes if we air them out after we've used them, if we pop them in the freezer. There's so many different things that you can do that is not washing it. So unless it's actually dirty, try some of these methods instead. Now I said freezer, I think I'm going to have to expand on this. You can remove slight odors from your clothes by putting them in the freezer overnight that simply just removes the smell so if your clothes are not dirty per se but has a weird scent to it that's something that you can do or you can simply air them out out the window or in your yard etc overnight the air will also remove a lot of slight smells something that I am still trying to figure out a little bit but I definitely think it's worth a mention in this context is refrain from simply just throwing your clothes in a chair or in a corner of your room whenever you're done using it for instance if you've been working out and you take off your workout gear don't just throw it into a corner of your bedroom or into a chair where it will just lie there crumpled up because that can actually intensify smells and odors and you can remove a lot of these simply by stretching out the clothes that was it for my zero waste laundry guide I hope you guys like this video I hope you found it useful once again there are even more products in the blog post down below things that I don't use but I think is a really good idea different types of products for different types of situations so let me know what you think and if you need more help check out the blog post thank you so much for watching this video I hope that you liked it leave me a comment a thumbs up subscribe to this channel guys that would make my day seriously <laughs> thank you so much for watching have an amazing day and see you guys next time bye Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!